Hello everyone. Welcome to Nesso Academy. In the previous lectures we discussed different types of type specifiers. Now we are in this lecture and the name of this lecture is comments in C++. In this lecture our focus will be on understanding comments in C++. We will understand what comments are and why we include comments in our C++ code. So without any further delay let's get started with this lecture and let's see what are the topics The first topic is introduction to comments First I will introduce you to the world of comments then we will move to the next topic where we will understand single line comments After understanding single line comments we will understand multi line comments So these are the topics Let's start with the first topic that is introduction to comments. So what is a comment? A comment is a text ignored by the compiler. So a comment is some text we add in our source code which is completely ignored by the compiler. Now you might be thinking if a comment is completely ignored by the compiler then why do we add a comment in the source code it will not get evaluated then why do we add comment there are two main reasons why we should consider adding comments in our c++ programs the first reason is with the help of comment we can explain what the code is doing with the help of comments it is possible to explain what the code is about and what the code is doing in the program and the second reason is with the help of a comment we can explain why a particular approach is taken we may have chosen a specific approach to solve a problem now why that approach has been chosen we can specify this with the help of comments i hope this is clear to you now So these are the two main reasons why we should consider adding comments in our programs. Comments are mainly used to explain what the code is doing and why a particular approach is taken. Now let's move to the third point. Comments are useful to make notes for developers reading the code in future. So comments are quite useful in adding notes so that fellow developers would be able to understand our code better if they want to read our code and understand the code then they would be able to do it because with the help of comments we have made our code more readable and understandable so i hope with these points it is clear what a comment is and what significance they hold Now I would like to tell you that there are two types of comments in C++. We have single line comments and we have multi line comments. A single line comment is added with the help of two backslashes and a multi line comment is added with the help of backslash asterisk and asterisk backslash. We will understand what are single line comments and multi line comments properly. for now we have understood what a comment is and why they are useful so we are done with the first topic that is introduction to comments now let's move to the second topic where we will understand single line comments so what is a single line comment a single line comment is a comment in a single line the name itself suggests the same thing and it is added with the help of two backslashes if we want we can use a shortcut to add a single line comment there we do not have to type out these two backslashes we can use this shortcut control and backslash in windows or we can use command and backslash in mac so we have shortcuts to add a single line comment i hope this is clear to you now let's try to understand how to add a single line comment in a c++ program here in the c++ program i have included the io stream header file i have included this header file because i want to use stdcout in this main function 
Now, in this main function, I have added this single line comment. Prints Neso Academy. This single line comment has been added to explain what this code is about. This single line comment is added just before this line of code to tell what this line of code is about. This line of code has the capability to print Neso Academy on the screen, and we know this already. With the help of STDC out, we can display this text on the screen. So, this comment is clear to someone who does not know anything about STDC out. So, this line of comment makes our code more readable. Now, when we execute this program, we know we get the output Neso Academy on the screen. So, in this way, we can add a single line comment. A single line comment must always begin with two backslashes. Then we can add the comment we want. I hope this is clear to you. Now, I would like to tell you one interesting use case of a single line comment. With the help of a single line comment, we can comment out a single line of code. This can be done to test a new version of that line of code. Let me demonstrate this with the help of this example. Let's say we want to print Hello World on the screen instead of printing Neso Academy. For this purpose, we can remove this line of code and we can add a new line of code to print Hello World on the screen. But we do not have to do this. We can comment this line out with the help of two backslashes like this. Here we have commented this line out. This means we have this line of code in our program, but compiler has to do nothing with this. Compiler will not evaluate this line of code because now this is not a single line of code. This is a single line comment. I hope this is clear to you. Now we can test the new version. We can type out this line of code to print hello world on the screen. When we execute this program, we will get hello world on the screen. We got this. Even we do not delete this line of code. So we kept the old version of the code and we tested the new version. The new version is working correctly. So now we can remove this line of code. After removing this line of code, this is how our code looks like. Now we can replace this Neso Academy by Hello World to make it more clear. So this line of code has the capability to print Hello World on the screen. That is what it is doing. I hope this is clear to you. So with the help of single line comment, we can comment out a specific line of code to test the new version of that code. I hope this is clear. This is not just the case with single line comment. If we want to comment out a block of code or multiple lines of code, then we can use multi-line comment. We will learn about multi-line comments in the next topic. For now, we have understood single line comments properly. This means we are done with the second topic also. Now let's move to the third topic and let's understand multi-line comments. So what is a multi-line comment? A multi-line comment is a comment in multiple lines, as the name itself suggests. Also, a multi-line comment can be added with the help of backslash asterisk and asterisk backslash. Backslash asterisk denotes the beginning of the multi-line comment and asterisk backslash indicates the end of the multi-line comment. Within these two, we can specify the multi-line comment that we want and this will be completely ignored by the compiler. Also, if we do not want to type this out, then we can use a shortcut. We can use Control, Shift and Backslash in Windows or we can use Command, Shift and Backslash in Mac. So I hope these points are clear to you. Now let's understand how to add a multi-line comment in a C++ program.
Here we have this main function only. I have not included the iostream header file because here I am not using stdc out. It is not mandatory to add iostream header file. If you need the iostream header file, then only include it. In this case, we do not need the iostream header file. Here I have defined this main function and within this main function, I have added this multi-line comment. This is the multi-line comment. Here, we are beginning this comment with backslash asterisk and we are ending this comment with asterisk backslash. Whatever we have written here is completely ignored by the compiler. I've added this comment, a variable is defined to store points. Here I've defined this variable points of type int and I've initialized this variable with value 100. With the help of this comment, I want to tell this that I've defined this variable to store points of something. I hope this is clear to you. So in this way, we can add a multi-line comment. Now, if you observe this comment carefully, this comment is not adding anything significant here. Or we can say this comment is not that useful. If we remove this comment, then also this line of code is clear to us. Here we have defined the variable points. Clearly, this variable has been defined to store points of something. From the name of the variable itself, it is clear what is the purpose of this variable. We have defined this variable to store points of something. So, it does not make any sense to include this comment. So whenever we have an obvious code, it is not advisable to tell what that code is about. Here I've explained what this code is about, but this is not needed. Instead, it is better to explain why you have added that code. Here I've added this explanation. Awarding 100 points to users signing up for the first time on our website. I've replaced the previous comment with this comment and now this is much better. Here I've explained the proper significance of this variable. I've explained why I have added this code, why I have defined this variable and why I have initialized this variable to 100. I have initialized this variable to 100 because I want to award 100 points to users signing up for the first time on our website. I hope this is making sense to you. Now this comment is useful and it is considered as one of the best practices to add comments in the code. Whenever we have an obvious piece of code, we must explain the why of that code, not the what. The what of the code should be explained when the code is difficult to understand and when the code is non-obvious. This code is obvious. So, putting the explanation of why we have added this code makes much sense. So, with this, I hope this point is completely clear to you. We have understood multi-line comments properly. Now, we are done with multi-line comments also. This means we are done with this topic and we are done with this lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.